Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, books having to do with uh, Celtic mythology, or as some people say Celtic mythology, I, I prefer Celtic. Th this is the areas of uh, Ireland, the Isle of Man, Scotland, Wales, Cornwall, and Brittany. Uh, however, uh, a lot of a lot of what we know about uh, Celtic mythology is mostly from Ireland because they're the ones during the Middle Ages that wrote down a lot of their stories. Uh, however, the stories go back to, uh, a long way. Uh, we have some stories from Wales, and we have we have some tales from other parts too. But usually, uh, books on Celtic mythology many times they focus on Ireland, uh, and also uh, Irish mythology is is uh, known. Irish storytelling is known for a lot of fairy fairy tales, a lot of uh, folk tales involving fairies like leprechauns and and chlorocons and other cons and uh, uh, we're not really going to talk about those that's more the, the domain of uh, of the uh, of the folk tale I'm going to talk more about myth myth and legend which is a different subset of mythology so let's get started the first book I'm going to mention is uh, is an old favorite it's uh, it's this one I have a sentimental attachment to this book even though it's a little outdated and it's problematic in places but it's a it's a classic it was written a long time ago uh, the, the, the stories are really beautifully told it's called Celtic myths and legends and it's by T.W. Rolleston uh, this book when this book first came out it was called uh, uh, myths and legends of the Celtic race but nowadays it, the titles change to Celtic myths and legends or something like that and it, it's got all of the major stories from uh, Ireland and Wales and uh, and uh, uh, it's 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 a it's a great book. Another book that's similar to it, it covers a lot of the same material, is uh, another book that has a similar title. It's called Celtic Myth and Legend, and it's by Charles Squire. Very good, classic book, old. It's uh, covers a lot of the same material as the other one. Uh, another book, and this is really great because this one is really uh, up to date, and it's called again similar title, Myths and Legends of the Celts. And uh, it's by James McKillop, and it's put out by Penguin. And what's really wonderful about this uh, rather hefty book is that uh, he covers, it's, he doesn't tell stories at length like the previous books I told you, he, but he gives shorter synopses of the, of the tales. And there's a reason for that, because he covers a lot more material. Uh, he talks about what the Celt, how the Celts may have worshipped in Gaul when they were in Gaul, which is modern-day France. He talks about Scotland and, and other areas usually not talked about in general books on Celtic mythology. And he even goes into some analysis. So this is this is a, this book is essential. Um, another beautiful book is uh, which tells stories again, not just from Ireland and Wales, but tells. I mean, this guy tells stories from all over the place, all over the Celtic world. Uh, it's called The Chronicles of the Celts and uh, new new tellings of their myths and legends. I came across so many new stories in this book. I can't tell you. And this is by Peter Beresford Ellis. Uh, I happen to be lucky to get this uh, nice hardcover edition, but uh, today you'll find it in paperback form. Okay, what's next? Uh, another book that's also kind of old. It's a classic. It's by Lady Gregory. Uh, it's a very old book. She used to be friends with W.B. Yeats, and uh, it's called Gods and Fighting Men, and it's by Lady Gregory. Uh, what's really great about this book is um, it, it's basically two parts. Uh, the first part talks about one. Uh, there's there's four. There's basically four sets of Irish mythology. Uh, I'll mention. I'm going to talk about three of them in this video. Two of them she covers in this book. Gods talks about the uh, the invasion cycle. Uh, what happened is that uh, it's part of what's called the invasion cycle of Irish mythology. And it has to do with before humans came to Ireland, uh, Ireland was uh, invaded by previous myth mythical beings. And... Uh, it, it talks uh, it talks mainly about that and the fighting men part is basically another genre of uh, of uh, Irish mythology which has to do with Finn and the Fianna uh, Finn was a hero his his crew of men were called the Fianna and they went all over the place uh, hunting and fighting and fighting and hunting and more hunting and fighting uh, I don't care too much for the fighting men part in this I I like the first part the mythological cycle for the fighting men part the, the Finn and the Fianna, there's this old book, another old classic called, I don't know if you can see it, I don't have a hard copy, I read it online, 
It's called, this is a picture of one of the covers. Uh, it's called Old Celtic Romances and uh, Tales from Irish Mythology. And the writer is P.W. Joyce and Old Irish Romances. This book is wonderful. I, there's many different Irish stories in here, uh, not just Finn and the Fianna, but when it comes to the adventures of Finn, uh, that's my favorite book. Uh, I, I can't recommend that enough. Uh, moving along, there's another very wonderful book. Uh, if you're interested, now, now we're going to talk about English translations. Uh, this book, Early Irish Myths and Sagas, put out by Penguin. It was, it was uh, translated by Jeffrey Gantz. The, this book is mostly, but not all, uh, another group. I, I mentioned one group being the mythological cycle or the invasion cycle of Ireland. Then there's the Finn and the Fianna cycle. Uh, third cycle is the Ulster cycle. A lot of the stories in this book have to do with the Ulster cycle. This is a great collection of myths uh, having to do mostly with the Ulster cycle, but there's other there's other stories in here told. And this is a, a, a very hard to find uh, uh, English translations of stories that are found in this book. Um, okay, now moving on, we're going to talk about the great epic of Irish mythology. Uh, their answer to the Iliads, and it's called the Tyne, or the Tain, or the Toyne, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, the Tyne is uh, means the cattle raids, and uh, I know it's a kind of a funny title, but you got to remember there was a time where owning a fancy cow that nobody else had was a big deal, and if you had your cow stolen, it could lead to a war. That's kind of what happens in this book. Uh, uh, somebody steals a cow, it leads to a war, and the men of Ulster are unable to fight because they're under an old curse. They made a pregnant woman have a race, and she cursed them, saying that they're going to have to suffer from labor pains uh, once they're needed in battle. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, mothers out there that would love to see, love to have their husbands feel what it's like to have labor pains. Um, uh, and, and it leads, there has to be one, there's one hero that's exempt, and his name is Cahollin, and he has to single-handedly defend uh, his area of Ulster from the invading armies, and that's what this book is about. This book is absolutely great. This edition is great by Thomas Thomas Kinsella, this translation. This translation is wonderful. Not only is it highly regarded, but there's other stories in here. Not only do you read the main epic, but he has other stories from the Ulster cycle in here, and so you get like a whole bunch of great stories in here. So I uh, can't recommend this enough. And also one more thing, if the tying sounds familiar to you, and you're wondering where have I heard that? If you're a fan of the band The Decemberist, they they have a CD out uh, called The Tyne, and it's based on this book. And YouTube uh, even has a little animated video that tells the story, the, the essential details of The Tyne, with with their music in it. And it's it's actually pretty good. You may want to check it out before or after reading this. Uh, I also have another version here of the Tyne. This one is a little more recent. It's also very good. It's called again. It's called the Tyne, and this this translation is by Kiarden, Kiarden Carson or Chiarden Carson or Ciarden Carson. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And uh, I didn't like it as much as the Kinsella translation. But one thing I do like about this version is that uh, it's got great notes. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to read those notes at the end. A lot of annotations that are really worth reading. Now I'm going to move out of Ireland and go into that other area that has some great literature, and that's Wales. Now Wales has one amazing book, and it's this book here. It's called the Mabinogion. Uh, this particular translation is class is the first translation in English. It it's uh, it's translated by Lady Charlotte Guest, and. Uh, you know, some people argue that her translation is pretty, but it may not be the most scholarly. But I don't care. It's the first one I read. I loved it. The way she tells the story is so is so enchanting. If you want a more up to date translation, there's this one, which is by Oxford World's Classics, and it's uh, it's very good. The Mabinogion, okay, and uh, this translation is by Siona Davis or Shona Davis. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. And this book is very good. It's probably, uh, yeah, it's worth reading. And I also have one more version of the Mabinogion. You can tell it's one of my favorite books. And that's this one, Mabinogion. And it's, uh, it's translated by Gwyn and Thomas Jones. This is also a highly regarded translation, even though the English they use is kind of like King James English. Uh, 
And But what's special about this version is that it's illustrated by Alan Lee. Now, Alan Lee, I don't know if you know, you might, you've probably seen his work and not know it, is that he did a lot of illustrations for the, uh, the Lord of the Rings. So if these illustrations look familiar, it's because it's the same artist. Uh, here's one illustration that I can show you. Uh, this is one of the her heroines of the, uh, of the book. Let's see, where is she? Um, it's, uh, oh, here she is. I just want to give you one example. And see, that's Rhiannon. She's one of the main figures of the book. Uh, not, no, not, not Rihanna, the singer. Rhiannon, okay? Uh, that's her name. She's a goddess. Uh, uh, if you're old as me and you remember the you remember the band Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks used to sing a song called uh, Rhiannon. Well, guess who she's talking about? She's talking about her. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? That. Um, oh yeah. Here's another book. Okay, we did Ireland. We did Wales. Um, there's the other book I showed you earlier that has stories from different parts of the Celtic world. Uh, but if you if you want just, I found one that's just Scotland. This is a real gem. Scotland, Myth, Legend, and Folklore by somebody called Stuart, Stuart McCarty. This book is great because uh, if, if you just want stories of Scottish myth and legends, this book is absolutely amazing. I, I, I don't know why he's looking like that. He looks like a giant looking over everything. That's just how he goes, I guess. So this book is really great. And one more book I want to show you is this book if you if you if you want a book on analysis that also talks about uh, some of the Celt that talks about Celtic myth but it's more of a book about Celtic mythology rather than reciting the myths and it's more about how people worshiped and their religion and culture there's this classic study by a guy named Prontius McKenna and it's simply called Celtic mythology but it's part of the series library of the world myths and legends so this book was really great, too, and it's got a lot of amazing illustrations of, from the Celtic world. Okay, now, like I did, that's all I have, but what I, what I did, like I did with my previous videos, is I'm going to give you a hatchet list. I'm going to give you a machete list where I shave down. If these books are a little too much for you, I'm going to shave it down and just talk about certain uh, absolutely essential books that you absolutely have to read, bef you know, if you just want to have a watered-down list. Okay, book number one. Is in terms of overall overall view, myths and legends, myths and legends of the Celts by James McCullough. This book is absolutely great. It's got everything in here in just this little book. Okay, now moving on to the to the Ulster cycle uh, in Irish mythology, the time. If you can get this version, it's absolutely essential because it's got not only the the great epic. The cattle raid, but it has uh, other stories as well. If you can get this particular translation by Thomas Kinsella, okay, that's it. Um, when it comes to the Mabinogian, that that's an absolutely essential book you have to read. I really like. Well, it doesn't matter which version you read, as long as you have an English translation. I have. Uh, uh, I like. I really loved uh, Lady Charlotte Guest's guest version. Uh, uh, however, if you if you want the, that beautiful illustrated one, you can look for this one. Uh, but if you wind up getting one without illustration, without if you don't get this one, you get one of the other ones. At, at the very least, Google the illustrations by Alan Lee because they'll make it even more enjoyable. Um, another book that I recommend is uh, is that other book that I showed you that I held up on my screen before because I don't have a physical copy. Is uh, Old Celtic Romances by Joyce. That's uh, that book is I think. Uh, it, it's just one of my favorites, and it's my favorite source for the stories of Finn and the Fianna. And finally, finally, just one more book is I just I just think this book is absolutely amazing. It, it's it's got stories from uh, uh, all over. I mean, he's it, he's such a uh, he's such a wonderful storyteller. They're so easy to read. They're so. Uh, uh, they have so much heart, and and it's not just Ireland and Wales. He covers everything. He goes to Cornwall. He goes to Scotland, and uh, it's 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 the Chronicles of the Celts, Celts by Peter Beresford Ellis. Okay, so we're done. I gave you my list. I gave you my hatchet list, and I hope this video was helpful. And uh, I will see you again.